Yo, what is up guys? It's Jack and welcome back to another video. And uh, yeah, I got some more gameplay here from the Blame Truth and Nero Cinema Extravaganza as I want to call it. And of course on everybody's favorite map that they love to hate or hate to love, <laughs> whichever one you want to prefer, Nuketown. Oh my goodness. Um, So Nuketown has been brought back for the fourth time now. Back a few years ago during the Black Ops 3 life cycle or actually during the end of the Black Ops 3 life cycle, I made a video entitled Goodbye Nuketown. You know, because it was Black Ops 3, it was the end of Black Ops 3, it was the end of the trilogy, I figured we would never see Nuketown again. And obviously, fast forward to not too long ago, they basically announced that Nuketown will be making a return again for the fourth time. Now, here is the funny thing about this. Now, I I'm I'm basically saying in this video that we need a Nuketown cure or a replacement. Um, to put it fancy, it's, it's like Nuketown is a disease and we need the cure. <laughs> but uh, speaking a little bit more respectfully, so and I'm going to explain why in a second. We basically need a Nuketown replacement. We need another freshly new designed smaller map so to speak especially for the black ops series because quite frankly we don't know how many more black ops games we're going to get we obviously know that brand naming is a big big factor when it comes to business so if something as simple like keeping the brand name is going to keep your dollars up you can pretty much bet on the fact that well that they're going to keep that brand name coming no matter what. I mean, God knows how many more Black Ops games we're going to have. I mean, we're going to have Black Ops 10 or what's going to what's going to happen? I mean, the only way that I think they're going to change the brand naming is if something big changes with Call of Duty. That's kind of like one of the reasons why I think a change is coming. Like I mentioned in my one of my recent videos that I made in the last month or something like that about sometimes you know how you can feel something is coming but you just can't tell what it is. I just I just feel that a change is going to is going to come around 2020. But again, I could very well be wrong. It could me it could be my uh, it could be my stupid side getting the best of me, uh, but uh, or my fantasy, so to speak. But uh, it is what it is. But the thing is, realistically speaking, because brand naming is something that uh, helps the success, especially from a money perspective, because it's more recognizable for a franchise. There's a chance that we may get another Black Ops game. Okay, come you know, like two or three years from now, if they keep doing exactly what they're doing. So, uh, we need a replacement, and the thing is, this takes me back, the reason why I, I say it so respectively, instead of saying, oh, this map sucks so much, oh, this map this, this map that, I can't stand it, I'm taking a slightly different approach, and the reason for this is because, well, back when I was a complete noob, I always like to think of myself as a noob, no matter what, no matter how good I get, because if I start to think I'm good, it's going to start limiting my potential in terms of skill with the game. Granted, I'm also old. <laughs> uh, I'm too old to, to make the kind of Call of Duty gains that some of you younger guys could make. Some of you guys that are like, you know, 12, 13, 14 years old, all the way to your, like, let's say, early to mid-20s. Uh, it's a little bit different. Um, but with that being said, uh, I always believe that you can never stop improving. So the thing is, when I was back... Like, when I was a noob, when I didn't know how the hell Call of Duty worked in terms of where to go as soon as you spawn. And I mentioned in my previous video that I just had no idea how spawns worked. It was all basically just run around and try to find a target, and those targets could be anywhere. I did not know that there was a system behind spawns, and things worked a certain way, and you should be heading this way when you spawn instead of this way. And there were plenty of times where I ran around, and I was looking for people, and I couldn't find people for, like, sometimes minutes at a time. And with Nuketown, you do not have that problem. You're, you're always going to be, within s just a few seconds, you're always going to be aiming and shooting at something. So that is one of the reasons, if not the main reason, why noobs or very, very casual players that don't know what they're doing, basically like I didn't know what I was doing back then, absolutely love this map. And let's not mention the fact that it always gets voted. I mean, every single time you see Nuketown in all past Call of Duty games, it always gets voted. Now, it's one thing when it was brought back once or twice, but this is the fourth time now. And I honestly, respectfully speaking, so I honestly believe that at this point right now, it's uh, it's overkill. I know that there have been other maps that have been brought back as well, but you guys got to remember, there's a difference between a more chaotic map and Nuketown. And the thing is, uh, with Nuketown, again, I understand why the noobs love it, 
but we need we need a replacement we need a another smaller map and they just need to design a new one and I know we're not gonna get that now obviously because it's too late but if the black ops franchise is gonna continue I mean okay since it's all recognizable and we were talking about name brand and right okay how about you keep the name nuketown but basically announce that it's gonna be designed completely different and play completely different than it did before it's gonna remain to be a small map because that's one of the things that makes nuketown nuketown right and obviously the fact that there's a nuke that goes off at the end of the map but uh it's gonna be redesigned so that way you can just basically recognize like hey we brought this back four times it's like hey we want to take a different approach to a smaller map and we're gonna go for it and at the same time i think treyarch would get a lot of credit for that because that's basically going to show that hey we're even though we're we're keeping the name so that way it's continuously recognizable and giving you guys that small map that you always crave we're gonna give you guys a different spin on it so that way you guys don't feel like you've been through like every single thing before um and I, I personally think that they should take that approach with, with every game. I think every game needs to have that s kind of mentality and that kind of approach if you want to keep things healthy. Because as you guys know, and I've mentioned this in previous videos as well, this is kind of philosophical, but it's absolutely true. I mean, even if you look at it in your life, even doing this, uh, something that you love and enjoy, if you do that too much, it's not good. Uh, you ruin the balance, and then believe it or not, you can, you can get bored from it. I kid you not, you can get bored because it's too much repetition so you, you need that change that's one of the reasons why we have different maps in this game uh, and with blackout obviously it's a little bit blackout is, is a little bit of a different pace um, but uh, it's uh, it is one huge map and there's so many different ways you can go about it but you guys get you guys get the point and the philosophy and the idea for it this is why we have different guns this is why we have different maps and all this kind of stuff and I think this is also why black ops 4 is slightly uh, disappointing to put it nicely with the community because the, a lot of the content has been cut and paste. We've been through it before, and we don't have, it doesn't feel like, to a lot of people, it doesn't feel like a completely new Call of Duty to them. And therefore, they're bored of it because they feel like they're playing a game that they've already played before, and, and uh, it just doesn't feel like a, a full $60 game to them. Now, obviously, if you're playing zombies and stuff like that, maybe it'll be a little bit different. And for those of you guys that are doing Blackout, again, that, that could be something as well. But I'm just talking from a pure multiplayer perspective. This is this is what I see, and I am just respectfully saying that we need to get something else going. They need to design another map, uh, a new one, make it from scratch, keep it small, keep the name if you want to keep the name brand. And if it's going to be called Black Ops 5, then obviously they're going to have to keep the name the Nuketown, but that doesn't mean that they can't change the design. So... Um, that's the direction that I think they should take, especially if they're going to keep bringing back Nuketown. And that is my basic philosophy when it comes to the subject and, of course, of Call of Duty. And that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about in this one, guys. Let me know down in the comments section what you guys think. What are your opinions and thoughts on Nuketown? And if you are a very casual player or if you're a noob and, and you have your struggles, your, your struggles with this game and you're still trying to figure it out, um, do you enjoy Nuketown or do you find it annoying? Because everybody's different, everybody has their own points of view, and I would really like to know. And at the same time, are you sick and tired of it, regardless of what kind of player you are? And that's all I got for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary, and as always, if you did, let me know, and if you didn't, let me know what I could do to make my videos better, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.